Yo guys, Kyle here. Um, it is this moment in time, quarter to four in the morning, and I just wanted to say a few words about bit, bit, bit. I want to say a word about depression, basically. So I'm just gonna read off the thing that I wrote off my laptop. So yeah. So right, just for everyone out, everyone out there who thinks depression is a way of getting attention, it's it's really not. Depression is a real thing. Some people who have really bad depression can take it too far or onto another level. Some people self-harm and some people try to end it, which is not good. To people who self-harm, I know you're trying to make yourself feel better, but that's not, that's not the right way to do it. If you want to if you want to do it, then a safer way of doing it is to wrap an elastic band around your arm and like doing that with it. That's a way of doing it better. But what I advise you to do is not do anything at all. I don't want you to do that. But if you feel like you need to harm yourself, then I advise, I advise you to do that because it would just it just won't leave any scars or anything plus I, I, to be fair i just don't want don't want anyone to hurt themselves or anything so yeah um uh it's just it's just a safer way and it doesn't leave any marks or anything but i still wouldn't want you to do it plus speaking to someone about it would be a better thing to do because then you'll be able to get this, what you're depressed about off your chest and to some and pass it on to someone else if you get what I mean and they can try and help you with it it's just if you need to get it off you if you need to talk to someone about it I'd advise you to talk to your parents or someone you trust not your mates because sometimes they might make they might make fun of it or whatever I mean, my mates don't because I can trust my mates. I can trust them with anything I do, or anything that happens, because depression is a really big thing in the world, and it. I just need to get this out there because some people just think depression is a thing to make 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 fun of when it's when it's not. Um. So to people who've tried to end it, uh, it's not a, it's it's not a good. It, that's not good neither. Um, what you need to do is try to get your mind off it. Um, go out with your mates, or even or even talk to your parents about it. Someone you or someone you trust. It's not the right thing to do. Trying to end it. If you're only long like me, I'm only like I'm only seventeen. You. You still have your whole life ahead of you. You you have one chance to live, and to be honest. If I was you, I'd make the most out of it and spend time with your family and friends. Because before you know it, life will be over. You have you have to you have to look at the brighter things in life, and you, you only get one chance, and you need to use it right and make the most of out most out of life. Um, plus, if you don't feel confident speaking to your friends or family just do something to take your mind off it go on your xbox go on your playstation do what we do what you what you want but just don't do anything stupid i mean i've done stupid things in the past and um i know i'm only talking to viewers that probably don't give a shit about me and they don't care but what i i just don't want anyone to um feel down anymore it, it it does my head in because i know a few people that have, that depression's got the got the best of them and they've tried to do stuff and i i help people i try to help them try to get the mind off it i ring them message them i'd rather i'd rather ring them because i can verbally say the stuff that i need to say plus um i can help i can help them try and get the mind off it and talk about good things in life i know the i know the coronavirus ain't helping but i hope you're all staying inside because if you go out 
it doesn't make anything better, you can spread it even if you don't think you've got it, you might have it. Plus, sometime in the next few months, next few weeks, the coronavirus might be, might it won't be gone, but would be out of lockdown and we might be able to go out what again, how it used to be. But I know, I hope you're all okay, staying at home. I hope, um, I hope you're all okay. I hope none of you've got coronavirus, but at this point in time. Plus, uh, I want to say a big thank you to the NHS and um, the key workers because key workers in the NHS are at massive risk of getting the coronavirus and I just want to say thanks to all of them for helping people with the coronavirus and helping people with anything they've got. Um, the NHS have been so good. I hope that taking care of Boris Johnson, I mean, none of you probably care about him, but he's the Prime Minister. So I'd rather say thanks to the NHS and um, I've been clapping for it, been clapping for him and everything. The key workers, my sister is a key worker, so I've been clapping clapping for her. She works with an, a nursery with a lot of a lot of like what four five year old kids in a nursery. I think it's four or five, either three four or five, but she's been doing a good job with them and. Um, I just want to, it's just, I, can, I know I keep repeating it, but I just want to say a massive thank you to the NHS and all the key workers that are out there still doing the job and still at risk of getting the coronavirus, which I'm very thankful for, anyway. Plus, if it, and to anyone who, who, try, who makes fun of me doing this, I, I, I couldn't care less because I'm trying to help people who have really bad depression. And I'm trying to make people aware, aware of depression than of depression it, that it's a real thing, and um, just people in general who who have depression or are diagnosed with it. It's just um, I just don't want anything happening to anyone that I know. Or anyone in that, anyone, anyone in that, in that fact. I, I don't think harming yourself or ending it is a good way of going about depression and the way you feel down, because depression is a real thing and some people, my my, I don't wanna, you know what I'm not gonna say it, but some people know people that have ended it and. Try. I know. I know a few people that have tried to end it. I know a few people who have, who have um, self harmed. But I, I sometimes feel depressed, and what I do, because the, because the college chaplain at college, um, he, basically helps me and my mate, like overcome things that we've done, and. Um, try and do other stuff instead of self-harming or anything. I, I want to say a massive thank you to Paul, the college chaplain. He's been a massive help. He's been ringing me over this... He's been ringing me because I can't go to college because of coronavirus. Plus, I couldn't go in college before the coronavirus happened because I dislocated my knee, which is now fine. I am now OK. Um... I don't care if you, you probably didn't care anyway about my knee, so. But I want to say a massive thank you to Paul, who go, who works at Wigan and Lee College, Pagefield, and he works at Pagefield College, he works at Parsons Walk College, and works at Lee College near the Sportsman, basically across the road from Morrison's. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to him too, because he's been helping me a lot, trying to get my mind off stuff, and I've been doing stuff to. I've been doing, like. I mean, doing stuff to get my mind off, like, stuff that make me feel depressed. And I want to say a big thank you to fam to my family as well, to um, my mum, my dad. They've helped me a lot in the past, and they still help me today. Um, if it wasn't, wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. Plus, I want to say thank you to my brother Lewis, 
my soon to be sister-in-law Helen and I want to say a big thank you to my brother Daniel. Lewis and Daniel have helped me through a lot plus they're my brothers so they most likely would but I want to say a massive thank you to them because they always make me laugh and they always make me smile and um, even even if I'm down or anything they always make me smile and laugh. I'm glad to call them my brother Scott he makes me laugh sometimes. Um, I don't see him a lot anymore because he lives he lives with his girlfriend. But he still comes around once every now and again to talk to see everyone. But this coronavirus is a bit extreme at this moment in time, so we can't really come round. But I just want to say a big thank you to all my family, especially my sister. She sometimes makes me laugh, but I had I I had to talk to her. But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and speak to her more because she's my sister. I actually talked to her, but I just want to say a big thank you to all my family, Helen as well. Every day when I used to come home from uh, college or school, she'd be like, "How's your day been? Um, are you okay?" If I was feeling, she was like, "Are you okay?" If I was feeling down, and I really appreciate everyone that's been there for me, especially from my mates, Josh and Alex. Josh, he all he, he's literally always there for me. He's like one of my best mates. Um, I can't stress that enough. He's he's been there for me since I started college, and um, we've been mates since. And he's been there for me all the time, and he's always made me feel better. Alex, I hardly talk to him, but I talk to him a lot in college, and he's helped me through a lot of stuff too. And I've helped him through a lot of stuff, so I want to say a big thank you to everyone, my friends and family that have helped me through bad times in my life. I just want to finish off with people who tell other people to kill themselves or anything is the worst thing that I could ever hear in my life. I, I hate I hate it. Why why I don't get why people would say that. Some people might take it too far and actually do it, which I don't want people to do. It's just a bad thing of of it's just bad. I don't get why you would say that. Why would you want someone to kill yourself? It's just not not. It's just not advised for you to do it. Um. Some some of the people who say that are actually, th are actually sick. Like I hate it. I hate people who go, oh yeah, kill yourself, because that's just not. That's just not good. Or or people who say um. <laughs> Uh, I'd, 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 any way, any way of people saying, oh, kill yourself, or I wish you was never here, I wish you got hit by a car or anything, people might take it to the extreme and do it, but I, I hate it, I hate anything to do with that kind of stuff, because it, it's just not good. Um... Yeah, that's just, just a little video to say, I don't know if I'm going to upload this or not, but... I'm not going to upload it for quite a while, but then I'll probably upload it, but even if I do upload it, I just want everyone to be there for me and try and accompany, accompany me with what's happening in my life or anything. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is just a little 40-minute video of things like... It's just like a, a few minutes of your time out your day to listen to this and um, think about what you, what what depression is and how how serious it is and what you could do to prevent this kind of stuff. And I, I do want to show you that I have actually wrote this and sent it to my in my messenger on my computer. So basically, it's all the, that one, it even says typed out by me, which I actually did do, it says typed out by me the, and the two, so that's what I was reading before, um, I just wanted to, to show you that, because some people probably won't believe me, plus I've also posted it on my Instagram, which I'll put in the description below, put my Instagram in the description below, so yeah guys, um, thanks for all your support, I want to say thanks to my friends and family for helping me through this, and 
I hope you're all okay due to the coronavirus. I want to thank the NHS and the key workers and anyone else who's at risk of getting coronavirus from working. Thank you and in a bit.